Hey folks, Matt Breton here. Uh, coming to you in March, out with my Remington 572 Pump 22. Uh, attempting to track a rabbit, the conditions are pretty poor for that today. But I just wanted to have people remember that they gotta think about tracking deer year round. And there's really not much better to train you than tracking snowshoe hares. Uh, they're 25 times smaller, run in smaller loops, but they do all the same stuff. Make big circles, little circles. During the rut, the bucks make long runs. If a buck hare goes a thousand yards during his rut, it's nothing for a, a buck whitetail to make a 12 or 13 mile run. So all the things are the same. You gotta sneak, you gotta peek. Um, you gotta be able to discern fresh tracks from old tracks. If you're looking for something to do, there's not much better than tracking hares to get you ready for the whitetail season. We're only seven and a half months away. Uh, if you can, get out there and get after it. There's a couple weeks left here in Vermont. Uh, there might be some time left where you are. If not, put it on your calendar for next year. It's a great way to spend some time in the off season. Uh, if you want the meat, hunt with a shotgun. If you want to work on your rifle shooting skills, hunt with your, your pump 22. Um, make it realistic. You never know who you'll run into in the woods. Fun to look around, see what's going on. Learn what a porcupine's tracks look like. Looks like he's been up there for a little while. I don't see any tracks. We'll keep looking for a snowshoe hare. Just like a deer, a hare would prefer to sit tight. That's its best strategy. It'll run if it's scared. I've walked right by them while well, they just sat there. Same with deer. Any deer you jump that's off to your left or right was watching you the whole time. So you gotta look low, much lower than you think. Try to catch them before they catch you. Not the freshest, but a start. A lot of times guys will confuse this with a buck rub. Uh, it's pretty far off the ground. And it isn't. This is uh, snowshoe hair chewing on this. Um, you can see the little patches of teeth, marks where they've scraped that off. The snow is deep enough they could get up there and feed on it and then when the snow melts it starts to look like a buck rub. So Tracking tip, uh, don't confuse the two things. Thank you.